All right, well, we went, we saw, and we held down our launch. <laughs> That's the important part. Rising survived Fury 325. Well, a few of us did. I really did. Everybody else is fine. Look behind you there. Yeah, look at that. That's where we have to go up. What? I'm not really feeling it. We did it! Well, some of us did it. The rest of us chickened out. You can see that video coming up here on Rising just after 825. But now it's your turn. We want to hear from you. Would you test out the world's tallest and fastest giga coaster? Fury 325 opens to the public this Saturday. It's going to be cool and sunny. You should go try it out. Awesome. So are you going to muster up the courage to test it out? I don't know. Our producer Tyler Young is in the newsroom looking at all of your responses this morning on Facebook. Good morning, Caitlin and Christine. I'm getting a pretty mixed bag of responses. Some say yay, and others are like, heck no, mm -hmm. I will watch you guys do it. Let's start with Wyatt. Wyatt says, I can't wait for this weekend. I'm going to be riding the Fury 325. I'm taking on the new Carowinds Challenge, but one condition. My seat better be secured where I'm not coming out of it. You'll be fine, Wyatt. Ooh, I don't know about that. Did you see my feet flailing around there? Oh, my oh, goodness. There yeah, you were kicking, and you were, you were so nervous to do it, but then you did it and trip you were talking to someone yesterday who is a coaster enthusiast yes. and, and tell us what they said about this ride you see I can't put my hands down oh uh, no <laughs> they've ridden over 400 roller coasters he and his family all around the world this is in his top three now he rode it nine wow. times yesterday nine times just to find the greatest seat for this and he said it's the back left the back left. Yeah, he rode every. Yeah, you mentioned it every row. You guys yep. did it twice. We did it. Was it twice. better the first or second time? Trip really liked it the second time. Honestly, though, I think that I liked it the first time because you don't know what to expect. You go around those curves and those corners and the bumps and the how fast it is. It just goes by. But the second time was more relaxed, even though we were in the front row the right. second time. So the view was better the second time. What do you think, Trip? Absolutely, and it was so smooth. I've never ridden a roller coaster this fast. And this smooth, you won't have the uh, the jerking around like you do on most of them. Tyler, would you do it? <laughs> Tyler, girl. I don't know. Don't Did I go yesterday? It. Did I go with you? <laughs> uh, <good point. laughs> no, I'm not doing it. And let me get back to some of these comments. These folks are just like me. Cliff says I'm 30, and I called it quits after riding the last coaster, the Intimidator. Oh, I'm no. with you, fella. I did the same thing. Amber said I got on the Intimidator one time and couldn't handle it. I, there's no way I'm getting on this. If I, I couldn't do it. It's too much. If you think the intimidator is bad, you're looking down at that baby tiny coaster from this thing. Yes, but <laughs> you Long don't go upside down, so don't be freaked out if you don't like to go upside down. This one doesn't go upside down. It just kind of turns side to side and goes really fast. Regardless of how you feel about coasters, this is huge for the Carolinas, bringing in a big economical e impact as we saw TV stations internationally, nationally here spotlighting, and a lot of people saying, I never thought about going to North Carolina, but now I want to go to ride the world's tallest, fastest giga coaster. So exciting, and I would highly suggest it. Even if you're scared, just go.